Flynn here again, and today it is the day after Christmas, and we are back with Flynn, the, the ball python. And today we are going to be talking about um, big snake care. Kind of. Um, medium snake, because he's a medium snake. He's not a huge snake, and I don't have any huge snakes yet, but he is a medium snake. Um, mainly feeding, diet, and... Um, proper housing is what we're going to be talking about in handling. So feeding and proper diet, um, they require a lot of grass. Um, they do start off sometimes that big. And when they are that big, you're going to want to start off with small mice. Um, you're going to want to start off with pinkies just to make sure they eat. And then go to fuzzies to small mice and work your way up to large mice to ginormous mice, then go to small rats or in general rats and work your way from there. Um, currently he is on uh, small rats because he is fat. So uh, he will be going to medium rats once every other week or to small rats once a week to maybe, I'm gonna start off with mice um, once a week. Yeah, one to two a week to kind of get him off that. Um, we tried chicken, like little chicks, and he didn't care to even try those. So I'm not going to worry about him too much until he's maybe eating a little bit better. Um, but yeah. So proper housing. Um, he's currently in a 40 gallon, but he's definitely going in a bigger enclosure. Uh, proper housing would require um, that the snake's length, two short sides and one long side. The snake does not equal, uh, like, it does not stretch beyond that. If it stretches beyond that, you need to get a bigger enclosure. I would suggest even getting a bigger enclosure by the time it uh, does a short side and a long side. Um, so, he will be getting a much bigger enclosure soon. Um, we're going to be building him one like no rose. Uh, I'll put a picture of that on the screen. Um, it's a old TV, but he will not be getting an old TV. He will most likely be getting a wardrobe or a cedar chest. Um, something a little bit bigger, but not quite as big as Bob's enclosure. Um, but yeah, he'll be getting a really big and, like, not huge, but pretty big enclosure soon. Um, built more for him, built more for his style. Um, it'll have some climbing, a lot of hides, all that. Um, and then proper housing, diet, what was the other one? Oh, handleability. I handle him once a day. He has gone one day with being off and that was yesterday. Oh, nope, he didn't, he got handled in the morning yesterday. I will take one day off a week to ha not handle him, um, but he gets handled once a day every other day, like for every day except for once a week, and um, that's how I like keeping it because that way he stays sociable, that way he stays as nice as he is. He's like, like, I just got him last week and I can already pet him on the head. He doesn't have too much of an issue. Oh, sorry. For me. But yeah, so proper Handleability, um, even if it's bitey, you still want to handle it more. Um, with Pizza, when I first got her the first week, she tried biting me constantly. And so I just sat there and worked with her and worked with her until now. Now she's one, probably the best handleable snake I have. She wants to be handled. Currently, she's wanting to be handled. She, anytime I get Flynn out, she's always wanting to be handled. So, yeah. Always get proper handleability with them. Make sure that they're able to, they're wanting to be handled after a certain point. Um, some of them just don't like being handled and they'll start trying to get away and whatnot. They won't, maybe not bite, but some might try bite. You just gotta work them out of it. Um, but yeah, back to proper, like, the, like feeding. Um, I would say switch it up. Like I said, I gave him chicks one time to try to see if he'd eat it. He didn't quite like it, but I'd say switch it up here and there, give him give your ball python a bigger snake maybe a chick chicken leg um, non-season chicken leg um 
just some sort of something that's not a rat or a mouse. Um, soon I'm going to try like deer. If I'll have to look that one up, I don't know if they can eat it. Um, but different, just try different things. Just cut it to match like a very similar shape to what your uh, animal eats anyway. Um, make sure it starts off thin and then gets a little bit bigger and maybe goes back to thin. Something. I'm sorry, don't mean to scare you. But yeah, so make sure to feed them a vari variety. They do like variety. They like tasting different things. It, di it makes it so that they digest it differently. Um, and it just, it works with them. It works differently inside them, all that. It gives them a little bit of enrichment. These are smelling new things, all that. So yeah. Um, I think that's the main idea that I want to get past today on this short video. Um, ignore the background noise, that's my siblings. Annoying, I know. But yeah, so, uh, have a great day. Like, subscribe. I know I forgot to do that in the last video. Like, subscribe though. Um, maybe turn on notifications if you feel like it. Share this video, see how many people we can get watching me. See y'all next time.